UJAM Instruments presents Inside Sound Minds, an exclusive behind the scenes look at leading artists in sound and music. How did they master their art? What role does technology play in their creative process? Take a peek into the minds of some of the world's most acclaimed composers, producers, and musicians. Everyone's got a, such a different spin on music, and I really think it's important for people to express themselves and be creative, especially with everything that's been going on recently. I just love new technology, and I love the way that it allows people to express themselves. Hi, I'm Laura Escade. I'm an artist, entrepreneur, live show designer. I make future classical music. I love to produce and perform electronic music mixed with organic sounds. When I was growing up, I was a violinist and I was playing classical music. I was reading music off of a sheet of paper and I didn't know how to improvise. I didn't know anything about how to create my own music. And when I was in high school, I started learning about bands that had violinists in them. One of these bands was Dave Matthews Band. And I got really into learning about violinists that were jamming and rocking out on stage and improvising. And it was such a departure for me coming from playing violin and reading music off the page. And it was really challenging at first, but then I met other people in the music scene that were DJs and producers, and I started playing violin over their music and started getting in the studio with them and learning how to produce and kind of just took it from there. Right now I call my sound future classical and my sound has morphed many times over the years but really the core of my sound is just this classical very symphonic cinematic sound. I love technology because it allows me to be so much more expansive, it allows me to overcome limiting beliefs about myself and what I can do as a musician and artist. I love to use tools like effects on my vocals, on my violin, MIDI violin, otherworldly, that's something that I wouldn't have been able to create without the technology. I'm really influenced by artists like Imogen Heap. She is truly a pioneer in the music and technology space. She even created her own MIDI gloves that she uses to control her vocals in real time on stage. She does a lot of music technology training and teaching, as do I. So I really look up to her as a pioneer in this space. I'm also super into artists like Aphex Twin and Square Pusher. When I first heard their music, I was floored. I'd never heard anything like it before. It was just so chaotic and crazy, but yet beautiful and melodic and just interesting. And that really got me into the realm of IDM music or intelligent dance music. And I just fell in love with that style and started producing that shortly thereafter. The technology that I use now is drastically different from when I first started out producing. I really didn't know what I was doing. I had a keyboard and a PC computer and I was just trying to make sounds and using a lot of loops and things like that. And it wasn't until later when I really started to find my own sound that I delved into other types of technologies, other types of software. And so now I have a blend of in the box stuff. I use Ableton Live for composing and producing and performing and so everything ends up in Ableton Live but I have a lot of hardware now I've got a lot of synthesizers and outboard gear that I utilize just to get those organic natural analog sounds into my productions I love the fact that you can utilize technology to overcome your limiting beliefs and things like auto-tune in the past I was a purist, you know, I really didn't, I didn't like it. I thought, you know, if you can't sing, you shouldn't use auto-tune. And then I started working with artists like Kanye West and was doing his auto-tune on his tours for many years. And I realized that artists like that who don't have a singing background can use a tool like that to express themselves. And it completely changed my perception of using 
plugins and effects like that on stage and in the studio. And I just think it's really beautiful because we've got these limiting beliefs like I can't sing or I can't play a keyboard and now there's all these tools out there that you can utilize to overcome these things. And I just think it's wonderful that we are in an era that all of these tools are available for artists and people who are learning how to express themselves creatively. If you're just starting out, I definitely recommend purchasing a few things and really doing your research and finding what it is that really speaks to you um, as an artist. And just sticking with that, really learning that one thing or two things, really, really just deep diving into those things. Because when you get a lot of different things, sometimes you can have anxiety or it's an overload of choices and your productions just don't end up being the same as if you just really learn one tool and learn it super well and just become best friends with that tool. And so that's what I recommend if you're just starting out, just to grab a couple of things. You don't need everything. You don't need all the things that I have here in my studio. You just need a couple of things that speak to you. And if those turn out to not be the right things, then you can always trade them in and get something else. UGM Strings is such a great software plugin. I love that as a violinist and as a composer, I can just reach for it and play one note and get some amazing riff that I wouldn't have thought of. I mean, it's really for people that are just starting out with strings and also people who have been composers for a really long time. I think it's just one of those universal types of software instruments that can speak to a wide range of composers and producers. And I loved composing the music for the nature documentary with UJAM and just had a fantastic time playing with the instrument. Strings isn't just for composers that are doing realistic sounds of orchestras. It's also for electronic musicians who want to put some weird effects on strings and create otherworldly sounds, sounds that you don't hear all of the time. And I love the fact that strings is so versatile and you can do both of those things within one amazing software instrument. If you aren't tech savvy, if you're just starting out, I feel like a software instrument like strings is the perfect thing because you can keep everything in the same key, you can play different notes and get different articulations, you can get different rhythms, you can get different melodies, it's just so cool. And even if you're seasoned, just using it as a jumping off point to grab some ideas, maybe if you're having writer's block, I sometimes have that. And when I sit down at the computer and at my workstation, it's just really cool to be able to reach for something that gives me that immediate gratification and inspiration. Thank you.